he must see that you have this seed of God. Bese, we are seen. And then you will be saved. Gitazile Uguchi Inglosibuea Figa Yati Asifare Amasaga Sifare Amasaga Emzimbinwe to Uguze Sibonaga Uguti Sialila. I also explained that uh, the angel uh, advised that we wear sick cloth so that. It can be clear that we are indeed mourning. Since the ball paying a map bande a massag and over a sena a massag as an assessor, that we should bind our waists with uh, sackcloth uh, uh, bands because we don't have full sackcloth that we can wear on our bodies. In Jalaleo, a palet by Berlin, what is Lila, what is it called a massag? This way of mourning is clearly written in the Bible. That we, we mourn by wearing sackcloth. Lo kuk faga ingu bo ezim nyama is in to zezinye is isra. Wearing a black dress is something that is practiced by other gentile nations. Ya ting lo si bese si zila nguti singa gubut lange sabat. The angel also added that we should fast. We should not eat on the Sabbath day. Naleli pande la masaga. And we should also wear this uh, band of sackcloth while we are fasting uh, during summer. I'm also wearing it. This is it, just for those who don't know it. This, this, this band is made out of silk. Of sackcloth. Li bande le silo. It is a belt of for money. Li bande elichela unkulunku lugutingo se 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 silwe. It actually tells God that we are money. Ngakoge bonga bandu abame sabayo unkulunku lo bazo la le la le lizwi la is chunya sa se zwi nguti asfage amasala si si bande amasala. Therefore, all those who fear God will actually uh, comply with this instruction that we should wear belts of self-cloth. Uh, this, this morning is not only for today. We need to get accustomed to, to the practice of fasting almost every summer. We shouldn't be eating. On the Let us just stick to this practice, Jesus. We shouldn't fool ourselves by thinking that this pandemic has just emerged naturally or automatically. It has been brought down by God as we have read in this passage. If we return and reconcile with God, we will be protected from this pandemic. I did mention earlier on that uh, the angel told, told us about this pandemic even before it arrived. And she said we should ask God to protect us from it. I said in the past, even when it finally arrived, she advised us to ask God to protect us together with our children and our relatives. So that we shouldn't have. I did mention in uh, uh, previous weeks 
that since this pandemic started, uh, not a single member of this church has passed away. Agako futum to sage wez, a game what he sang feluing a neami, Nama sang felu, mama ebula at the sea. And no church member has come to me reporting that uh, their child has died or a close relative has died or a mother person. Naloko angisho guti ingiazi kukumeza no magunjani, gotang zama uktaza guti. Uma uktaela kunkulunkulu, unkulunkulu uya glalela njengo ba eesho njela pa eti ngi uguzwa, ngi ulalele unkulegu wei. I'm not uh, trying to get popped up with Christ by, by mentioning all this. I'm simply uh, saying that God said if we ask from him to, and we humble ourselves to him, he would listen to our prayers and do what we have asked him to do for us. Oti unkulunkulu. Abantu bami ababiza inge ababizo nge kamalame abakulege bafune ubuso bami. God says, uh, my people who are called by my name should pray and seek my face. Ba pendu ge ezindelen zabo ezi. And repent from their wicked ways. Nge aguzo ngise zuwi. I will hear in I will hear in heaven Gitetelele isono sab forgive their sins Gipilise Isela and make their land prosperous again. Is that a bit so let's just That is the promise that God has given us. So Nangati in Glossy is Chifundi Salento as full is an end to a set by Pelin a shong Gulunguru Kobola. When God, when the angel taught us about this. She was referring exactly to the scripture uh, about what God himself had said. And she said, And he says, I will watch over this temple and be ready to hear all the prayers that are offered here. What else do we, do we need to hear because God has, has explained everything which is written down here. Namanje nage ngi agbaela guti amana zareta gankulunkulu na bobonga bandu abaslanganisa nugu konza u Jehovah. Guba si kubege guti njalo nga masabata si zile uguda si fage ama bande ama saga si kulege gu Jehovah. Ngulunkulu uzo uzo mkulegu. Therefore, therefore, I request every member of uh, MCG to continue praying together with those who identify themselves with this cause, because God will hear in heaven and forgive us and heal us. We've been, we've been advised by the angel to do, to do this. Therefore, let us not ignore it because it comes from heaven. Na la pa unkulunkulu uya kengi sauti isi ifo si si vela gimi koto umanga abe abantu ba mi be kulega gimi ni ula galom lioe sa kibate telele kushonkulunkulu. Even God mentions that uh, the, the pandemic comes from me, uh, but if my people pray, I will forgive them. It is God to say so. Ishawa Sanam Sasiti Ukato Gwenko Loga Jehovah Nabez. Today's uh, topic is it says the destruction of Yahweh's faith system by Gentiles. Uh Ugoze Sibe non kulunkulu aksiona in do unkulunkulu oas numelayo na goto. And the reason why we have such a God is not just because it happened automatically, but it was because our ancestors cried to God and God eventually became our God because they were in trouble. Go Exodus 3, verse 9, we have 10. Nanga Amazu Gangulungul. Yes, 
In Exodus 3, verse 9, we are 10. In Exodus 3, this is 9 to 10. This is what God says. Pegamanje ukukala kwabantu anabakwa Israel sekufike kimi. I have indeed heard the, the cry of my people. Futhi ngibonile ucindezelwa kwabo ngabasegibhithe. And I see how the Egyptians are oppressing them. Ngakho hamba ngiyathuma kufaro ukuba ukhiphe egibhithe abantu bami abantu anabakwa Israel. Now I am sending you to the king of Egypt so that you can lead my people out of his country. In other words, the children of Israel were in, in big trouble because they were oppressed by Egyptians, just as we are now in trouble due to this COVID-19 pandemic. They were actually treated as beasts of burden. They then remembered that uh, there was a God of their ancestors and they prayed very hard so that he could come down and liberate them from the oppression. And God indeed responded to their prayers and did it. Just as he says that here that he had come down from heaven in order to liberate his children from, from the king of Egypt. Indeed, God came down from heaven and liberated his children of Israel from the hand of Pharaoh. And even though Pharaoh tried very hard to resist, but God finally overcame him. The ten plagues that actually came down upon the people of Egypt actually prove that God is so powerful and that He can really liberate us from any trouble. He indeed liberated uh, the children of Israel. God was able to receive the children of Israel. But after liberating them, he wanted to enter into a contract or a vow. Uh, between himself and the children of Israel to the effect that he indeed would remain his God and they would remain his children. And I would like all those who wish to repent and reconcile with God to get to know the details of this agreement. Because I know that uh, all of us are not even aware of it because we grew up in a different religion, not the one that came from Yahweh. Go Exodus 20, verse 2 to 3, now I'm going to ask what you have. In Exodus 20, verses 2 to 3. 2 to 3. This is what Yahweh says. Ngingu Jehovah unkulunkulu wako o agu kipa ezo nda se kipite. Unga abinabanye o unkulunkulu nda pande wa. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt where you were slaves. Worship no God but me. 
Kubaleke kabu kuba saz guti unkulunkulu wa taz guti unkulunkulu wetu owa sikipa ekipit. It is very important for us to understand that God explained that he is our God who took us out of Egypt. Nogote angege sibe no mwenye unkulunkule si ombiza na panze kwa unkulunkulu oka mala kelingu Jehovah. And that there is no other God that we will turn to except the only God whose name is Yahweh. Deuteronomy 6 verse 13 to 15 nanga amas wa Jehovah. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 13 to 15 verses 13 to 15 uh, in that in that in that passage this is what God is saying. Wo me saba u Jehovah nkulunkulu wakho wo khonza yena yedwa ufunge igama lakhe. Honor the Lord your God, worship only him, and make your promises in his name alone. Anyukulandela abanyo unkulunkulu, unkulunkulu babanto abanizunezayo. Ngokuba u Jehovah unkulunkulu wakho opakathi kwakho. Unkulunkulu Onomhau, funa into good teloga Jehovah, Unkunukuluako, Egu Vutel, Egu Kite, Epsuin Bomsha. Do not worship, do not worship other gods, any of the gods of the peoples around you. If you do worship other gods, the Lord's anger will come against you like fire and will destroy you completely, because the Lord your God, who is present, with you tolerates no rivals. Le Nkulumoga Nkulunkulu Iba Legi Luguti Indio Kala Guti Asinga Bina Banyo Nkulunkulu Baba Uma Asiba Nabanyo Nkulunkulu Ula Galuga Nkulunkulu Lupezwe It is very important for us to understand that we should not have other gods because if, if we do that his anger will come upon us. Gwenye ingwa tika tutoronomu unkulunkulu ya ashuti. Na oma ngabe umfoenu. Uma ngabe eseno unkulunkulu nga pande kwa chaofa. Lo umfoenu mbula le nugu mbula ala. In one of the chapters in the book of Deuteronomy, God also says, even if it is your brother who has turned to other gods, you should even kill that brother of yours. Gwenye inda unkulunkulu ya kazi kuti umuntu ngishangazwe ebe umprofeti enze nzima ngaliso zini. Koto umage nje wanifundisa ngomu unkulunkulu ga pande ga jehova. Lo umprofeti la uo aga veli unkulunkulu. In a certain passage, God explains that even if, even if a prophet has taught some people about a different God, that God is, that prophet is no longer from God. Ngakoge isifumelwa nese tuno unkulunkulu ngesi chi. Unkulunkulu omu jehova, unkulunkulu wetu. Uyo senzela, gonke esi telayo. Therefore, uh, the, 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 the agreement between us and our God pertains the fact that our God will remain our God and he will do whatever we ask him to do for us. In return, China, Siom Konza, Singabuya Si Konza, Abanyo Nkulunkulu, Ebe Nkulunkulu Wetu, Noma Ngaso Songke Skat Singam Shugu. In return, we will have to always worship him and make him alone our God instead of worshiping other gods. We should not desert him. Lesi Si Fumelo Ane Esimi Pagate, Unkulunkulu owa kala uchengisa uguti unkulunkulu wetu. Uso manza, uyo sifigela kogo onke. Concerning this eternal agreement or contract, it is God himself who proved to us that he would always be with us, protect us, and do whatever he needs to do because he is our God as long as we worship him. Gengati unkulunkulu esnigeza lisi sifumelo ana Abandona Bagua Israel Bati, Gonke Abu Kurumilo Jova, Siago Gwenza, Silalele. When this agreement was sealed, the children of God who were there, of, of Israel who were there, declared that they would do everything that God had commanded. They would obey Him. Unkulunkulogo Kala Indoa Yenza, Oguchi, Esses Kipile, Ekipite. Wafeza if 
Ela le hamba nati emini isi figela ekshise ekshiswa ila. What God did uh, first of all after this seal had been made had been made, He actually led us. He He walked with us and brought a cloud that would protect us from the heat of the day. Epsugu waleta umli lo ozos kani sela guze siwa zuhamba upsugu mbese na tukusemi. At night he brought a pillar of fire so that we could get light and be able to walk as if it was during the day. What is a si pagati go luande na mabuto ba faro uluande wale shugan sa pagati na ba umslaba sa hamba pati gulo si zikiti eze ikiti ni embi zabat. And when we reached the Sea of Reeds, he actually divided the sea into two and we were able to walk on uh, the dry soil. It was about uh, two million people in total. God to tell man a besses pumileng ale na mahbu toga faro na ingenile uluante la buya la babula la bo. But when we had finished uh, crossing over and while the soldiers of uh, Pharaoh were also within the same path, uh, the the waters of the sea destroyed all of them. Si tema ngabe se so mile, unkulu unkulu watu mose agashaye ije walshaya wa pumamanzi, sapuza. When we were thirsty, God advised Mo Moshe to to speak to the uh, to, to the rock, and Not that is how we got some water to strike the wall. To strike to strike the the rock, and that is how we got some water. Kutema se slambi le unkulunkulu, we shisa imana ezwini e a i i nyama e si danjale psugu. And when we were hungry, then God brought down uh, the meat of quail, of quays, which we always had for supper, and every morning we would have manna for breakfast. God wa buko gonke loko abantu na bago Israeli tabe mshubu gundulungu. Beside all that. The children of Israel still abandoned God. Sa hamba nungulungulu imnyaga enga mashumi amane so njiwa unguye efigela nushinga nezitu uti zikule zife bekana nabandu beze bekule bezale bebe amatota. Si hamba nungulungulu. We journeyed with God and uh, in such a way that we were always fed and he fed our children, and people were also getting married, and they would get children. God always took care of us. But even if that was the case, uh, human beings or the people would always insult God. They ended up saying that we have had enough of this uh, uh, manna, we need a uh, different diet now. They were just complaining and insulting God. And God became furious and he released snakes of the, of the wilderness to strike and kill them. But he released when they were dying due to those uh, poisonous serpents, they then cried to God again. And he then instructed Moshe to actually make a bronze snake which he had to put uh, to mount on a pole. So that whoever would come and just look at it, uh, that person could be healed. Now, I'm better about to go and jar, why would you manga be feeling be bugal into gamos? Besser by a pea. Indeed, that is what happened. Whenever they came and looked at this uh, bronze serpent on, uh, on a pole, they would get healed. Got to a napam go guti umose habim sabini. Washia etaze gonke ogyo se sela 
uma ngabe sisuka ku Jehova but because, but before Moshe died he first explained everything that would befall us if we were to abandon our God nempela ngenkathi sisuka ku ku Jehova kwasehlela konke lokho umoso wakusho ukuthi wosehlela and indeed, when we deserted our God Yahweh, everything that Moshe had predicted did befall us. Ute Tolonom 28, verse 36, 37, In the book of Deuteronomy 28, verses 36 to 37, this is what Moshe said. O Jehovah, uya gugu isa wena nenkosi o ibege pezu wako, esizwe ni onga sazi, wena na o yishe. The Lord will take you and your king away to a foreign land where neither you nor your ancestors ever lived before. There you will serve gods made of wood and stone. We are going to smang a lease on a saka, Nesifeng, or Pagat Wizzesonke, Lapo Jova, Ayawisako. In the countries to which the Lord will scatter you, the people will be shocked at what has happened to you. They will make fun of you and ridicule you. What happened as soon as we are, as soon as it deserted God, as we explained this morning, each and every Gentile nation that would attack us would simply overpower us. <laughs> But while we faithfully journeyed with God, obeyed Him, not a single uh, Gentile nation could overcome us, because God was able to send one angel to kill about 185,000 soldiers of the enemy. <laughs> I will not dwell on further details concerning uh, uh, what happens because it will still be explained in the near future. But I just want to demonstrate what happened to us when we deserted God. It was explained this morning over the radio that uh, we were even uh, oppressed by the Greeks, but later on even the Romans did oppress us. We are sure we are not Yeshua was born while we were under the Roman Empire, which was the superpower of the day. Waza wazala uyeshua uh uyeshua wazala in your five PC uh why now thirty-three years old should wahamba em sabeni or thirty-five eighty. Uh when Yeshua was born it was around five BC and uh he died and and left this planet when he was around thirty-three years, maybe around thirty-five AD. We are showing a Even before Yeshua uh, departed from this planet, he explained in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, that Jerusalem would be attacked. Now, I'm better in Vagubu, Hamba, and Sabini, Ga Yeshua. Wabu Yahweh said, Chela Bafundi Bakuguti. Indeed, when he had died and uh, was resurrected, he actually came to his disciples or apostles and instructed them to preach this gospel of Yahweh around the world. 
abafundi baka Jesu bahamba behambe beshumayela ivangeli ngoje hova nemthetho yakhe Indeed his disciples or apostles traveled almost around the world preaching the gospel of of Yahweh then the Gentiles pretended as if they were embracing this gospel of Yahweh. But when they had already embraced it, they then changed and became different from what they were. Then they started to be hostile towards the Jews who actually or Judeans who were who had preached this gospel of Yahweh to them. But Jerusalem. But the whole uh, the whole narrative culminated in 70 AD when Romans attacked Jerusalem and actually took out all the priests of the temple. And then Hebrew Israelites were scattered almost all over the world as we are still going to explain and they were actually as, uh, running away from Romans. And those who remained in the land had to live under the empire of the Romans and under the new religion which Romans had created because Yahweh's faith system had been done away with. Yahweh's faith system was officially done away with through what was known as the creeds. Uh, I used to read these creeds in detail so that people could understand how they were all about. Galama creeds, what it was show ama gama, ama hippie. Through these creeds, even Hebrew names were done away with and put aside. Ne gama liga Jehovah la creed. Even the name of Yahweh was set aside. Ne gama liga Yeshua la creed. And the name of Yeshua was done away with. Waseku vuswa lengolo. They then resurrected the old uh, Babylonian religion which they had been practicing already. Inkolo yase Babyloni njengobasi esichaze. Inkolo eyakhiwa indoda kokuthi unimrud. The religion of Babylon as we often explain was created by a man called Nimrod. This man was one of the giants. He was tall and very big. And he then built about five cities that he ruled over. And one of them was Babel. And uh, he, he then instructed that a tower be built in Babel. But it's not clear whether he wanted to reach heaven through that tower. And then God became very furious and then he disrupted that project of the tower. We all know that story. But the point here is that God and uh, Nimrod did not just end up being a strong, powerful man, but he was also referred to as a God. 
Ogbalegile ukuthi unimrodi wayezala useminara useMiramis kodwa egcineni useMiramis okwa owagana yena unimrodi waba unkosikazi wakhe It is very important for us to remember that uh, Nimrod's mother was Semiramis but eventually she actually married her own son Nimrod No Semiramis no wagcina manje na sekuwunkulunkulu nawo ngendlela ethiza and even Semiramis ended up becoming a goddess of some kind. Wafa unimroti enga zango wa mtola umduana usimiramis. When Nimrod died, he had not begotten a son. Kotwa ise file usimiramis wakuleliswa indota etizo enga zange kwa atrazu kuti ubande ondota. <laughs> but when Nimrod had died, uh, actually Semiramis had a sexual relation with another man who is not uh, who is not mentioned here, and then the child that resulted from that uh, intercourse was called Tamus. Nimrod. Uh, Nje ngoba wayese uNkulunkulu wathi mayefa kwasekuthiwa usayehlala elangeni Since Nimrod had become a god when he died a lie was created and it was said that he now resided in the sun So kulunywa nge god sun uNkulunkulu wela oku Nimrod That is where the concept of god sun came from Wathi ma kuzala uThamuzi kwasekuthiwa uThamuzi uzaliswe unimrodi ese zwini kube nemisebe yelanga engeneko semiramisi wayese kulelwa ese zala uthamus when semiramis fell pregnant it was claimed that uh, the the rays of the sun entered her womb and she became pregnant and uh, gave birth to tamus so that is where the concept of immaculate conception came from Omage esezelwe uThamuzi kwasekuthiwa uyindodana ezelwe yodwa kaNkulunkulu kushiwo uNimrod And when Tamuz was was finally born he was then referred to as the only begotten son of God and and in this case God that God was Nimrod Kwasekuthiwa ke unina kaNimrod usemiramisi Unina kaNkulunku and then Semiramis the mother of the mother of Tamuz uh, was then called the mother of God Kwasekuthiwa uThamuz indoda nakaNkulunkulu ezelwe iyodwa and then Tamuz was referred to as the only begotten son of God Ileyanto ke ebalekile ngoba njengoba siphila nje manje asikwazi ukwehlukanisa phakathi kwenkolo ka Jehova nenkolo eyakhiwe ngabe zizwe base beyihlanganisa nenkolo ka Jehova It is very important for us to know all this because right now as we are alive today it is very difficult for us to distinguish between Yahweh's faith system and a religion that was created by Gentiles Okokuqala uYeshua akazalanga wabayedwa kunina First of, first of all, Yeshua was not the only son. He had siblings. So awukwazi ukuthi kusuthi uYeshua indodana ezelwe iyodo engazalwanga waba yedo. It is therefore impossible to refer to Yeshua as the only begotten son because that was not the case at all. Enkolweni ka Jehova kuyinhlamba ukuthi uNkulunkulu uzele in Yahweh's faith system, it is, it is blasphemy to say God has begotten a son. Unkulunkulu, we are dal, agazal. God does not beget, he creates. Owe simili, ngogwenkolo yetu, unkulunkulu agana indota na eoto, una matota na mani ngoba, zonki inkilose zinga matota na gangulu. Secondly, according to our faith system, God does not have only one son. He has 
many many sons because all angels are his sons. Gisha a testament and el dala. Maninga matota na gangulungu. Even according to the Old Testament, God has many many sons. Unkulungulu oye, unkulungulu ozala yo, unkulungulu ase papilo. The only God that begets is is the God of Babylon. Go in Tamba Uguti Unkulungulu Ununina Enkolweni Kachov. It is also blasphemous to to claim that uh, within the faith system of Yahweh God has a mother. God wa winkolo Yama Babylonians Unimroti Wai no nina. But within the religion of Babylon Nimrod or Tammuz had a mother. What he get umangabe? Sell to Shiwa Ika Maliga Yeshua. Sell to Shiwa Ika Maliga Jehovah. Was a Gusumula Ika Maliga Tammuz. A Senegazwa Ika Ma Okala Messi Creaky. What to Isus? The Celiba is Latin to Isus. Owa Trina Segufawa Uje in Obama Lessos Catuanga Lafa Uje was taken by Jesus. Eventually, uh, th these Babylonians created a god, a god whose name was Thomas, but he was given a new name uh, according to the Greeks. He was called Jesus. According to uh, the Latin language, he was then called Jesus. Lerita maloguti utamuzi ebizo nga maka masugene akwa nga kari mochisi moba na seki pite waena amanya maka ama wa ibizo angao. The third bed tamuz was referred to as uh, with uh, many many names. It was not a new practice because even in Egypt there were other names that were used to refer to, to tamuz. Gengati ama Roma enzo esungula lengkolo yao I am officially Uguti U Jesus. Except in Sweeney, Unkulunguela. When Romans created this religion, they were not even ashamed even to mention that Jesus was the Son God. He called on Jenna U Jesus, a Tolagala, a Nom Sebewela, and Nendo e round e kandala ke umsebe e langa ngoba wae mele unkulunkulwe e langa benga kufishi le lango benga kupale ngisho pati And that is why uh, most of the painted images of Jesus will be marked by a halo around his head because that was not a secret it was well known that he was the son of God God wa wa hamba wa hamba lo tamu zonge eko Kwase guti emnyagwe ni yo 19, emnyagwe ni yo 1492. Upopu, ese, koga indota na ya ke, oga gu, usizaria, boja, oguti. Kwa kiweke manje, istombe, siga jesu. But as time went on, in order, just in order to emphasize this, this fabricated image of Jesus, in 1492, uh, the Pope of the Catholic Church then uh, selected his own son, Cesare Borgia, to be actually used as a model of the new image of Jesus. What is the name of the Pope of the Catholic Church? Cesare Borgia, who is Italian, who is Greek. So eventually, when uh, the artist called Leonardo da Vinci finally created that image, uh, then a new image was then uh, scattered all, all over the world, and then it was said, this is our Jesus. But that boy was just a Spanish-Italian boy who was then referred to as Jesus, according to that image. We black people also embraced and accepted this false image, thinking that this is our Jesus, our Lord, and we put this uh, false image 
in our uh, churches and in our houses and we even put it uh, to hang on our necklaces. Owakala abandabam nyama fanele bazu buti inkolo le yom krestu aizange avele zuwini aksiona inkolo ga Jehovah. Black people must just know very well that this Christianity never came from heaven. It is not Yahweh's faith system. Ubu krestu inkolo ea kiwa e bodrum nga panzi gumbuso ga konsentai. Christianity is the religion that was created in a boardroom under the rulership of Constantine. When the Rango 320 AD. It happened around 320 AD. Go ishazo, umalento sui bugu guti. Si si zesgamkulungulu, si konza it is a shame that we, being the nation of God, being the nation of Yahweh, we had to abandon our own God and then stick to this religion that was created in a boardroom just by a mortal human being. It could have been okay for other Gentiles to actually go and follow that, uh, fabricate, that fabricated religion, but it is a shame that we, the nation of God, abandoned our own God, Yahweh, and then started worshipping other gods that will have been presented to us by Gentiles. What a shame. Uti ubu krestu ba sumulwa u consentine the great. I can't kakele na no. Because it is not just a mere speculation that uh, religion, this Christian religion was created by Emperor Constantine. We are not simply speculating. I can't kakele na uti inkole ubu krestu ya kiwa ulande la i foundationi yinkole ya se badlo. I can't kakele na yonke ndi akoni njalo. It is also not a matter of speculation that uh, this Christianity was built on the foundation of the mystery religion of Babylon. Just because Tammuz had been born on Sunday, then everyone wanted to change from observing God's Sabbath, switching over to Sunday just to just to honor these Tamus. Nakoga Amasimana Lisi Umasi Sizwe Simyama Sisu Pegaganjana says Fana and Sizwe Zonke Singawas which is Kulumenungulungulis La Lele Maba Vera Sesiba joining. Therefore we should not be surprised when we suffer so much simply because we have abandoned our God and we, just like other nations, cannot even communicate with Him because we have abandoned our God. There is something that I would like black people, irrespective of whether they are Nazarites or Christians, I want them to understand exactly how this Christian religion was fabricated. After 70 AD, the faith system of Yahweh was systematically done away with. In 320 AD, the and then Constantine uh, actually created pre, uh, Christianity in around 320 AD and he did that just officially. Christianity 
I'm a Christian, no shooting, small Christ. No, ma, I'm a Christian. But uh, the word Christian already existed by that time because Gentiles had been insulting uh, those who were, who were referred to as Christians. Because a Christian, Christian simply means a small Christ. Now, forget about London, about Christ, to go to a small Christ, to go to a Christian. So the followers of Christ were referred to as Christians, meaning small Christs. But we are land in the bag of Jesus, Babenga, and our Christ, and our Christ, Babenga, and our Nazareth. But Yeshua's followers were not Christians; they were Nazarenes or Nazarites. But we are going to go to the bag of our Gama, our Hebrew, I say Christian. Uh, but because uh, all Hebrew words or names had been done away with, it was then impossible for the followers of Yeshua to be referred to as Nazarenes or Nazarites. They were then called Christians. I've just said that uh, Christianity was created in 320, 320 AD when Yahweh's uh, faith system had already been destroyed. Was everything on the year 600 AD? So, what is the testament of Elisha? And then around the year 600 AD, the New Testament was then created. And then all the writings of Yeshua's apostles were then taken, combined, and then made up into a book when they, they had already died. Laoma Pugu Ay and Gati se Padua Ay distorto Uguze a Hambelan and Ngolo AIC corner. When those uh, writings were were transcribed, they were heavily distorted so that they could correspond with the agenda of the religion that had been created. Is it not as a Zipalwe Abapostoli? I want to the gospel of the twelve Zashis. All the books that were written by apostles, which were referred to as uh, 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 the books of the twelve, the gospel, the gospel of the twelve, were bent. Wasaguti ingwa tane atolagala guti the gospel of the Nazarenes ya tatwa ya isi bizo muguti ingwa tigama teu na ya isi distorto hambe tatwa. And then a booklet that was called the Gospel of Nazarene was also taken and distorted, and then it was called uh, the Gospel of Matthew. But it was heavily distorted because it had to actually correspond with the agenda of the new religion of the Gentiles. In the Estita song, the name of the Gospel Uguti uma ufunda in New Testament. Abu kolapo ukbonisa kona inkolo yama Roma. What also confused me uh, a lot is that when one reads uh, the, uh, the New Testament, nothing shows that it is actually part of a religion that was created by the Roman Empire. Gitena. I said the Bible that we know today was written around, or the New Testament was written around uh, 600 AD, but Yahweh's faith system was actually destroyed around 70 AD. La Uma Ufunda in New Testament, Akunwa Luto. When one reads uh, the New Testament, 
it is never mentioned how Christianity was created or fabricated. Apostles are mentioned in these books of the New Testament as if they were Christians, but in fact, apostles died as people who actually uh, uh, belonged to the faith system. They were not Christians at all. Galeo Zela, Gwenzu Guti China, Siti Masi, Siti Singama Christ, Sitabanga Uguti, Singo Lova Jehovah, Moba, a testament in Elisha, or was Guguetus, and Loba Gwenzu and Amabo. Therefore, whenever we refer to ourselves as Christians, uh, we cannot even understand that that is not the case, because in this religion, it is not distinguishable between Christianity and the faith system of Yahweh. It was very, very deliberate that uh, apostles were always projected as Christians, even though they were not Christians. The purpose was to confuse humanity. Abulona iputa guti guti uma abapostoli ba be kuluma ngo Yeshua bese likishwa ika maliga Yeshua se kufageli ga Jesu loko bese kunya gunkulu gunkulu omtate emu loko kwa kwenzeli guti si titege singa bonu guti ubu Christu ubu kala api u u u u u inkolo ga Jehovah ikala api ipela api and the name of Yeshua was deliberately distorted in such a way that uh, the, tri the concept of Trinity was mentioned so that we could never understand exactly where Christianity started and where uh, Yahweh's faith system was destroyed. Some people claim that uh, the name Yeshua is a direct interpretation of, the, of of Jesus, which is not actually valid. The name Yeshua simply means Yahweh saves. If it was translated into English, it would be Joshua or Yehoshua. But this name doesn't appear there simply because Yeshua or Yehoshua or Joshua uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't mean Jesus because Jesus is a meaningless name which was actually taken from Greek and Latin. Enkonde ugugusho uguchi Jengaba Ntwana Umasi Nkondu Ugusho Uti Umasi Funa Ugubuyela Kuchehova Asi Nkonde Gashu Uti Umele Pagatu Nkolo Gachehova Nobu Christu Usugana Gupi My main point here is that if we really want to reconcile with God we need to check very clearly exactly where uh, this religion of Christianity differs from the faith system of Yahweh. Within the faith system of Yahweh, there has never been something called the only begotten son. Because first of all, Yahweh does not beget. Whatever you call it. Within the same faith system, something called the mother of God never existed because Yahweh cannot have a mother. Even though Oh, yes, oh, 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 oh,
even referring to Yeshua as the only person who refers to God as the Father is, is absolutely wrong because all angels refer to Yahweh as the Father. Even Loku go to Kona Unkulunkuni, Dotan and Unkulunkulu, Konkulunkulu is an Unkulunkulu, Dotan and Unkulunkulu Moen, really. In their key were Enge, Kukulunkulu Moon, Abanye, about prophet, you know, Mazitu. Even this concept of God, uh, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit, is absolutely invalid because there's only one God. Others are just prophets and messengers of God. Loko umtecho kankulunkulu ongu Jehovah opa lwe pants in Jehovah tengu ufunda. That that is uh, uh, about the law of God that is written down as I have written it. The law of Yahweh. Jengo kuba na uizaya washo ganja nkulunkulu watu uyena yeto nkulunkulu angaka kaza beko nkulunkulu ngapambili angeke beko nkulunkulu emfa waka. Uyena yeto usidis. Just as he says in the book of Isaiah that he is the only Savior, the only God. No God was made before him, and there will be no God after him. Just just as our prophet Azar Shembe, peace be upon him, has taught us uh, through him number 119 that we love the one who saves, the one who protects us, because he is the only one who is God and he is the only one who protects us. There is no other God. <laughs> I, I beg all Christians and all Nazarites who can hear and I, I wish to tell them again that we only have one God. We should not be confused about that. And that others are prophets or messengers and they are not equal to God, they cannot be equal to Him. And that is what our prophet Isaiah Shembe has taught us. We should actually refer, focus on what is written down in the scripture. Nam Sanjana i Covid nineteen Ibula la Bonka Bantu Ibula Lega Kulu Abantu Base Base Europe. Got a lie Africa, Ibula Kakulu Tini South Africa. On the Fanele Wenzel. Even today Covid nineteen is destroying humanity on this planet, but it has actually killed many, many Europeans. But here in Africa it is destroying us as South Africans, and that should not be happening. Goba ngoba mi is South Africa Iona and in King Agaku. Goba Iona as he see Tata Jenga Lama Europe. Engananda Banalung Kulunkulu to Ongu Jehov. Ofanel is him fools. According to my understanding, South Africa is busy now imitating Europeans, pretending that uh, we should be having the God of Europeans instead of this God of Israel. Gyakpinda looking at Bosho. Asibe no pao, luguba abantuana bagangkulungkulu, oka mala kelingu chehova. I'm repeating this point once more. Let us obtain the seal of God, so that it can be understood that we are the children of God, whose name is Yahweh. We need to get the seal of God. Asis kenye, muguti singabantuana baga chehova, ogu yena nkulungkulu wetu, kupela. Asis kenye man. We need to feel proud of the fact that we are Yahweh's children, who is only, who is our only God. We need to feel proud about that. Aiko indo Jesu o unkulunkulu leonto si akelwe amakresto ai ai aiko. This idea of Jesus, who is a God, is non-existent. That thing does not exist. It was simply fabricated by Christians. Aiko into a unkulunkulu o shembe, uksanya jewabantu loko. Aiko unkulunkulu muni. 
There is no such a thing as God who, who, whose name is Shembe. That is a sign of insanity. There is only one God. And as it was, but it's a suge gulok, Baba. You're not clean, so let's let clean so let let go of Ankurunguru. As if fully so about prophet Bonke, as if fully so we are sure, as if fully so prophet is our shame. Okfanel would it see fools. And we cannot depart from that truth because that is exactly what all the prophets have taught us from Prophet Moshe, other prophets, Yeshua, and even Shembe. We therefore need to revitalize this faith system. Let us therefore forget about our different affiliations as Christians or Nazarites. Let us check exactly what God wants us to know because we all want to worship God whose name is Yahweh. And Unkulunkulu Etu, Uchehova, Ukonza Muktina Imtetoya. And our God Yahweh can only be worshipped simply by observing, carefully observing his laws. As I have mentioned uh, in the past, let us get accustomed to the practice of observing the Sabbath. Let us also get used to the fact that we, sh we are not supposed to be shaving our heads because that is an abomination in the eyes of God. Uh, in order for God to return to us, He will come to us only when we have started praying, identifying ourselves as His children. Let us stop uh, being fanatics because a fanatic is a foolish person who thinks that they are quite clever. fanatics a fanatic who might be a Christian because simply because they are foolish can never understand whatever you try to, to say because uh, they don't have the capacity to understand you since they are fools. I go into a king and Jenning and Jenny fanatic say in Nazareth, and Mama Umundo a fanatic say in Nazareth is slim, and what I want to sleep. A Nazareth who is a fanatic is the most uh, uh, terrible problem because. It is difficult for them to understand that they are stupid or foolish. Prophet Shembe uh, wrote everything, all his teachings in, in the book of hymns of Nazareth. But a fanatic who is a Nazarite can never see all that because all they think is what they just imagine and then that is what, what they stick to. He's fanatic. It doesn't matter how many times you try to explain just one word to that fanatic because even if they read it three times or even more than three times a week it still doesn't matter because they will not even understand it because they are just fanatics I don't know how many times we have uh, been advising uh, Nazareth to read just verse 3, which is read about three times a week, but they can never understand it. 
Ama Christu umuntu ufike etusindisiwe behlale begoqa bephethe ibhayibheli kodwa abazi lutho ngecontent yebhayibheli Even Christians claim that they are saved and they walk around carrying their bibles but they don't know anything about that bible Ababazi ubakhamkana ezinto zabo nje kodwa inkolo ka Jehovah iqondile iqondile abantu basesizwe iqondile inkolo ka They simply come up with their own convictions and beliefs But Yahweh's faith system is just straightforward. Afana ele ngempelo kuti njoba kune COVID-19 tina ngabe nati sifaselo COVID-19 ngoba singa bantu kufana ele ngabe sina upau luka Jehova ukuti magu figa inglosi ukufa ibo nguti lama bantu abantu anabaga Jehova abagu azu kuti bebula wanje ngabaya bantu. We should not even be inflicted by COVID-19 because As the children of God, we should be having a seal that came from God because when the angel of death comes, that seal should indicate that we are the children of God and we cannot be destroyed. May the Lord bless whatever has been written. I'm praying now. Siyabonga nkosi umsa wakho nothando lakho wena nkosi osiphile amandla kuba nkosi size kule nkonzo yakho sizokudumisa kuyo ncela nkosi kuba bonke obakhethile bakwesaba bakuthanda bakulalela kuba nkosi ubavikele inkosi ulelo kulo lobhuba nokukhona emhlabeni ngoba ususfondisile wena nkosi wasitshela ukuthi izifo zonke zivela kuwe kodwa uma ngabe abantwana bakho beza kuwe bekhuleke beyeke izono uyobathethelela ngisho usezibwini sicela ke nkosi uba usenze sibe abantwana bakho sicela nkosi uba usifundise ukukhuleka sicela nkosi uba usifundise ukuyeka izono sikeke izinto ezimbo ngayithanda kodwa silalele silandele umthetho wakho Bonke nkosi abantwana abazilayo bezile ngesabatha bezilele ukuthi lesi sifo singabe hleli. Bonke nkosi abantwana abagcina isabatha lakhe lingcwele ungavumi inkosi ukuthi bebulalwe lesi sifo. Zibonakalisa inkosi ukukhulu bakhe emhlabeni. Zibonakalisa inkosi ukuthi wena ukhona ngekufanisa nalutho. Lokho nkosi okwenzeka emandulo kwakuthi inkosi abagebhite ebulawa nkosi izifo ezahlukene kodwa abantwana bakho basinde sicela namanje ngo susenze sibantu abantwana bakho singafika lula sibulawa ezifo njengabantu abangazi indaba yakho sicela ngo suba usifundise inkosi indaba yakho uhlale nathi inkosi ngisonke isikhathi ngelakho inkosi igama manje kuze phakathi amen amen